we have been ongoing for a hundred years. That, in and of itself, should say a lot. Arts and culture is important to every community. We are a destination location. Certainly it was the dream, and the dream has come true. I have seen it grow from a small institution that probably served a small population to serving the masses. It's amazing what the years have brought. The museum has kept its purpose of providing art for the community. Truthfully, we had no idea until we got started on some of the research what the beginning really was. We discovered that uh, the organization really began in 1920 as the Tampa Museum of Fine Arts. We started from nothing. <laughs> except enthusiasm and people who wanted to, to contribute their time. Well, I first became involved with the museum in the early 1960s as a volunteer. The Gilders were volunteers who did everything that needed to be done. We sometimes painted a wall. Uh, we put on the openings, the receptions. We made the hors d'oeuvres. We cleaned the bathrooms before people came. My job was to handle the artwork and most every way it needs to be handled, installing the exhibits. I also designed the exhibits. It was very exciting, it was scary. We were all learning how to do it. One of my favorite memories was reconstructing the museum's finances from a shoebox full of receipts and then talking the Internal Revenue Service out of penalties. Even though we may not have had amazing art on the walls or the impressionist kind of thing. The local community, they really embraced the museum. One of the things that makes Stampa unique is that we had a community response to the importance of Greek and Roman art. In 1982, I did a feasibility study for the museum. When we owned only one Greek vase, I said that if we spend between a quarter of a million dollars and a million dollars in the next decade, we will have a worthwhile study collection. Well, within the next decade, we had bought the Joseph Beach Noble Collection, $4 million, and at that point, we became the most important antiquities museum in the Southeast. After the new building was built, um, there was a real sense of we needed to establish our credentials intellectually and um, at a level that gave us credibility. The quality and integrity of our exhibits really has, you know, continued to surprise me um, at how amazing our curatorial staff is and um, the way that they grow, you know, in both the contemporary world and then staying true to our roots with our antiquities. Art is the most creative thing that is attributed to human nature, that we create things that are beautiful, that we recreate nature, that we want things to look in different ways and we interpret things differently. So art is that opportunity for people to engage on a whole different level. You want to be surrounded by people who, who have a love of, of beauty. It doesn't matter your walk of life. If, if you appreciate beauty, it, it does something to you inside. It's accelerating rapidly. The expertise, the size, the place in the community. We do a lot more for arts education, which I think we need to continue to do. 
We not only teach from our museum facility here, but have eight locations in Hillsborough County that we use. And last year we touched in our education program over 40,000 people. The story of the future is going to be uh, growth. Attendance speaks for itself. You know, we're at all time attendance records this year. Yeah, Tampa is changing dramatically. There certainly has been incredible amounts of commercial and, um, and residential development, and so it's really neat to see the museum kind of in the center of it all. The commitment of a very small group of people transcending a hundred years' time from one group to the next group to pass the torch of importance of art in our community has been the thread that has kept the Tampa Museum of Art alive since the 1920s and will continue. It's what I did with my life. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a calling. Yeah. And looking back over the 50 or 60 years that I've been involved with the museum, it seems like it's gone very fast. And we've accomplished uh, an awful lot during that time. would hope the founders would feel very proud of how the museum has transformed over the years and that the programming going on here continues their legacy. It always gives me an uplift to my life. Uh, I can come to the museum and see a show and think life is much better now that I've seen that.